banned for ban evading the first account, and banned the first account for ban evading the second account, which have been banned for ban evading the first account. I mean, it all it all makes sense. Yeah, and now if either of them gets unbanned, they'll be banned for ban evading the other one. I can't believe House of 3000 Twitter got option selected. <laughs> I mean, it, they are a fighting game account. It, it's true. All right, but speaking of, we've got some fighting games here as Tilde meets John Numbers now in Grand Finals. John up a set, but it's going to be Tilde who's now up a stock. Yeah, and Tilde already cleaning up the biggest weakness from game or from set number one over on winner's side, right? Those down airs. We joked about how, hey, maybe he's warming up to hit them and the way he's using them against Hayes here, but honestly, it looks like he might have been because... Lighting up that first one early and it's already made a difference. Could not they could not find their mark versus numbers in that winner side set and now he's up a stock, but Yeah, they're absolutely looking alive right now. Tilde now with one of those party starter moves, getting the up tilt extension as well. John now off stage as Tilde looks for another one of those edge guards. A beautiful angle on the Firebird. Keeping and, him safe. Yeah, but just a slight miss for one great spacing is another pair of miss spacings, missing the down, down smash and missing the recovery angle, all gonna cost Tilde not just an advantage state, but his stock, however, 90%. And you think it's a lot to work with, but Wii's Fit Trainer has some absurd damage output, deep breathing or no. Already numbers whacked Tilde right back up to an even game. And I mean, Forrest, we have got work to do for Tilde. If he wants to get on the board game one here, he needs to, I think he needs to take this game one if he wants to win this tournament, but it's going to be hard for him to do so. He needs a big set of extra credit on this last talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, this game one is already looking a little bit too even for the momentum that Tilde needs to get in his favor to find that game, that eventual game seven. Yeah, the game game seven. The guys. game seven is coming. Don't don't <laughs> you worry, guys. Game seven, one way or the other. We believe in John Numbers being scarily accurate with his predictions. An unfortunate air dodge from Tilde is going to be given up that stock there. And now we are in even stock. Deep breathing is online, uh, but Tilde is still able to find the conversions. That should be death. No Numbers going to air dodge out of dodge. Tilde reading the wrong DI. This one could be it, but once again, Tilde getting a little too cheeky. That could have been a back air on the second one. The first one was an up air that was a back air, and the second one was a back air that was a down air. Tilde, third time the charm, gonna oh, finally find the back air he was looking for all that time to go. Clean it up and clean it out just like that. Up 1-0, but Force, where have I seen this story before? Uh, just, you know, maybe winner's finals you're thinking of? Yeah, that, that sounds that about... sounds a little bit familiar. Okay. We're gonna see the 3-0 into four games, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing. And then, and then a 3 0 in the, the second second set. Well, that would only be six two, games. Oh. One, Wait, go. but if it's a. It's a 3 0, oh. and then we need four games for it to be a seven game grand. I can count. It's. Math is hard. It's not that late. We're Smash Bros. commentators. True. You think we can do math? We only know how to add in percent. The only numbers I know are John numbers. And that's not something you learn in school. That's something you only learn at Xena Weeklies. You didn't learn about John Numbers in school? No, not at all. They don't teach you that. I disagree. <laughs> you only you only learn John Numbers from the streets. <laughs> Wait, he's John Numbers in the streets. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that one, folks. You can use your imagination as Tilde with another beautiful recovery. He cleans it up and keeps it going and pushing you to the edge. Nowhere for numbers to run, nowhere for him to hide. He has gotten his percent racked up. The soccer ball not gonna find its mark and Tilde not gonna quite be able to clean it up just yet. Numbers have made him work for this one. Yeah, but I mean the soccer ball not quite finding its mark, but did it save numbers from that interaction. We saw that also in the last set where the forward air would actually trade with the soccer ball in a scenario where it would have just killed We Fit otherwise. Nice little tomahawk pivot grab there from Numbers. Standing grab wouldn't have actually grabbed Ab Falco there, but the pivot grab has a so much larger hitbox from one of the worst standing grabs in the game to one of the best pivot grabs in terms of range that we fit able to find the grab, close out the stock, and Numbers able to keep this one close, at least for the moment, until Falco puts you in his blender. 
Yeah, sometimes it's just time for a cutscene, and these cutscenes are looking mad unskippable right now. Yo! Hideo Kojima directing We're, Smash Bros. Let's go, MGS4! Honestly, of MGS5, shout out to the one hour cutscenes. <laughs> There's actually a one-hour cutscene in that game. I still, I haven't played MGS5 yet. I need Rift. to, but I want to play four first. So good. All right, John now with a combo starter of his own, but Tilde is swinging right through with those downers, finding their mark once again, keeping Tilde safe. Ooh, I love this B reverse movement from John with the Sun Salutation. We saw John get so much value in their first set of just using that Sun Salutation animation to make Tilde flinch. However, Tilde's adapted hardcore, right? He has not really flinched at it that much in this reset, nor has he given John, perhaps more importantly, the opportunity to even throw it out. His reflector usage has been a lot better, and Tilde has not gotten as cheeky off stage. He's given himself less opportunities to lose his stocks early, and he's forced numbers to play more, as the kids call it, on his Smash Bros. with him. <laughs> Tilde playing very patiently there at the ledge, avoiding John's edge guard attempts and holding on to the second stock while John's third is bleeding really bad. Let's see if we see another coyote jump like we saw off the last and We actually did. Coyote jump down there. Clean Pretty stuff good. from Tilde. Hey. Do you know about this? Do you know about coyote jump? Te teach, teach me and teach chat about coyote jumping. So coyote jumping is a weird thing you can do at ledge when you jump right as you go off ledge. Let's see if this is actually a coyote jump. No, it's just a short hop. He just short hops it. And we'll still talk about it though for the sake of people understanding what the hell I'm saying. Thing. It's when you jump right as you go off ledge, you technically get an aerial jump, which is a different height than your grounded jump, but it doesn't use your double jump. So it's this weird, super low grounded full hop, essentially. Okay. And you can also short hop it, which is like really stupid. And it gives you more. It gives you an extra more height options. Mix up. Yeah, for you get like really low jumps. All right, John now bringing us back to small battlefield for this game three, but Tilde continuing to run hot. Has John at the ledge once again, but John able to fight his way through. Has deep breathing as well. Also, I missed what song numbers picked here, but it's a banger. This is We Are The Robots from Mega Man 9, arranged. Thank you for telling me, because I'm going to listen to this one all the it's time. It's a Mega Man 9 music. They went hard. They really did. Isn't that one of the Mega Men, though? That is that one of the good Mega Man games, or one of the not good Mega Man games? Oh, no, it's, it's one of the good ones. Okay, I don't remember. Honestly, most of the classic ones, uh, except for maybe... Seven and honestly, in my opinion, one and two. Uh, okay, that's heresy. Mega Man, Mega Man Two is not a good game. <laughs> I disagree, bro. That speed run though. Okay, Absolutely. speed run, sure, but yeah. And a game can't be a bad game if it has a great speed run. Sonic 06 has speed run. <laughs> not a good speed run. Yes, though. it does. Sonic 06 speed runs go way hard. No, they, I disagree. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, you look up Sonic 06 at GDQ, those go crazy. But anyway, it looks like Tilde is looking to speedrun this first set of Grand Finals, finding the down the down air, looking for an up smash, but not quite finding it. I would actually argue, though, that this set is just about even, because this second stop being so explosively Tilde favored is exactly how numbers open up stock number one in this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Tilde's come roaring back with, with a passion, showing you that, hey, Numbers, you beat me once, but I'm going to beat you twice. Show you just who is the king here of Xeno on a Saturday night. And, I mean, it's so possible for Numbers to bring this one back. He can find the chip damage, slow the pace of the game down. He just needs one or two more hits to really put Tilde in kill percent. Yeah, and especially with Tilde at ledge, you can see John going for that down tilt two frame, not quite finding it, though. Now it's Tilde's turn. That far down, John not able to weave out of the way of the down air. And Tilde smelling the blood in the water, he's gonna be striking. Yeah, just like you talked about blood in the water before, John numbers finding some blood in the water as he finds his, a down air of his own. Like finds like. And even though Tilde wasn't hitting them earlier, both players hitting them now to close out this game number three. Tilde trying to find the reset, does not want to force a game four. Numbers needs to get at least one on the board here because he wants a seven game prediction to be accurate, <laughs> I guess. 
Um, but it's interesting. I don't know if you noticed that Numbers picked seven games. That meant he assumed he was getting reset. Numbers assumed he was losing this set. I mean, he has to make it exciting for the audience. Does he? I think he just... Like, most players, if you ask them that question, they're like, oh, Grand's gonna be three games. Maybe four. I'll pa uh, he'll take a game, I'll pack it up, and yeah. send him home. No, Numbers is like, I'm gonna lose this set. 3-0 <laughs> or 3-1, and then I'm gonna 3-0 him in the reset. Well, and uh, the first part of that prediction seems to have come true. Yeah. Uh, numbers assuming Tilde is going to take exactly one more game tonight, or that Numbers is only going to take one game tonight. Only four games left to tell, potentially. Assuming Xenosaga is as scripted as we think it is. If Xenosaga is as scripted as we think it is, does that mean Numbers wins, or does that mean Tilde wins? Because Tilde is the one seed, right? No, John seed won. John seed won? Yeah. Interesting. Three, two, All right, right back. I guess it is Zeno. That That's true. It is, it is, in fact, his house. I, <laughs> I thought for a second we had chosen the wrong stage, but no, John just wanted to go off for deep breathing. Yeah. I, yeah. Thought, I thought we were resetting, but no. Nope. You got to stay calm, man. Take a breath between yeah. sets. It's important. Got that circular breathing. Especially when... You know, it's not just the up special. I think Falco is just always on fire when he's being played by Tildo. Because he, Tilde, cause he is cooking right now. Falco definitely strikes me as a character with high blood pressure. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't. Because would he be allowed to to like, to like dog fight if he had high blood pressure? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know enough about I don't think he would. Pilots. And does that even apply in space? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We're asking the hard-hitting questions here, folks, so you don't have to. <laughs> we're really... we're that That's just a theory. <laughs> a smash theory. Okay, someone murder me now, please. <laughs> Unalive me. <laughs> All right. Tilde now in firm control of game one. Only 14% on the board for John as Tilde finds the back air and on John swinging with the down air on disadvantage. You know, John Numbers is going back to the area in which he truly was most comfortable, though. Oh, it's really important that he's playing for glory, so two stocks for him, True. three stocks for anyone else. Just needs to get all of the comfort as Tilde on an absolute tear here in this game one of the reset. And 3-0 numbers and winners after going to game five winner side of bracket. And now in true finals, it really is a question of how much numbers has left in the tank. Yeah, and we may not even see that Fable Game 7 that we were talking about before as Tilde now with all of the momentum. 106, and there's the pivot wall. I was going to say, like you, you were saying. Walk? We didn't see any of that in I, either the first set that they played or in Grand Set 1. Tilde is feeling himself right now. The soccer ball, though, getting reflected the wrong direction. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen that before. That was extremely interesting, but not as interesting as Tilde now being up. Two, two stocks, stocks to one. To one. <laughs> I, gonna... I didn't finish my sentence there. You didn't let me finish. No, you took a breath at the perfect yeah. time. That's how you know this human is a talented commentator. <laughs> they know when to take their breaths. Right, but right now, Tilde not letting John breathe at all. He does get deep breathing. He doesn't. <laughs> not letting him breathe at all in real, in life, real life. Outside yeah. of the Matrix. Outside of the Tron dimension, as they say. Ooh, John looking for those sun salutation feints that we saw in game or in set one rather, but Tilde once again just not biting and he is primed to take game one of true finals. Yeah, and that might just be That's it. Be there it. we go, and one game down. Two more to go as John desperately trying to fill him fill his own prediction right. Out of curiosity, Devin, did we ever actually run the did we run the poll on the <laughs> over the under on the over under seven games? No. Oh. oh. I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, we tried, chat. We tried. I tried to get you more channel points, chat. Remember that. <laughs> to top remember the remember I was there emotes. for you. Force armor. Chat slash bastard. Truly a man of the people. 
<laughs> yeah, Chad's last bastion. <laughs> I really, I really wish John would try any other stage. <laughs> what do you mean? There's only I don't one see stage the problem. in competitive Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah. They was literally telling me how like this is like one of Falco's better yeah, stages. Yeah, I was gonna say outside like, of over outside and over of again. outside of like Yoshi's and Battlefield, I mm. honestly think this might just be Falco's best stage. It yeah, it's it's pretty good. And Tilde is showing us right now. But John now with a little bit of a percent lead. Actually, jab resetting on the up tilt. Tilde able to uh, continue the conversion. A very weird interaction caused by a mixture of DI, percent, and Weefit's really janky little hurt box. However, Tilde not gonna be too flustered as he not only takes the first stock, but already racking on 40% on the extra one. It might just have the whole game. She's got a beautiful drift numbers him. was so smart there. He knew, he saw into the Matrix, and he knew Tilde was his only hope. Yeah, John Numbers is just the Smash Bros. equivalent of Neo, I'm convinced. He he definitely sees the game differently. It's he sees the game like Tetris blocks. <laughs> All right, John now on the board, has deep breathing, and I believe Sun Sal on, no, no Sun Sal online. All right, deep breathing is gone, and John is back at the ledge. Once again, Tilde has been showing he is no stranger to finding edge guards on John numbers tonight. And now the header just early to find some pressure, getting a little nice comp, two piece off of it. Now gonna lob you up and hit the volley. Not gonna find too much off the serve though. Trying to find the spike, but not gonna find that either. Getting pressured into the corner numbers and trying to make it all happen. And the deep breathing too low. A weird mistake from him. I don't think I've ever seen him do that before, and it's gonna cost him big as Tilde now able to start racking up the percent. I think John be one game away. I think John actually missed the timing of the deep breathing, and so. Weep it went into that, you know, I'm sad animation, and that's why John lost that second stock. Very unfortunate. Tilde not showing any mercy towards his fellow opponent right now as he continues on this pressure. Yeah, and the early header there, or sorry, the late header there to cross up Tilde on the timing. The reflector gonna reverse you. Beautiful awareness from Tilde. Now keeping the pressure on going and as he tries to just disrupt numbers from getting back to stage, not able to do so. Numbers is starting to claw his way back into this one, but he needs to find the stock now if he has any hope. Tilde with the Japanese parry, he is full confidence mode. He's not dropping inputs anymore. The line, the road might be ending for our hero here for that, summer. I, I, don't, I don't know what was in that energy drink that Tilde had, but he is clearly energized. I think there was a bunny inside. <laughs> Pure battery acid. He is <laughs> fully energized right now as he finds game two. Yeah. And John still has to take one game to find oh, that game seven prediction. But we might I not believe, be finding it. I believe in John numbers. Say it with me, chat. I believe. I believe. I, I do, in fact, John believe numbers in John numbers. John numbers is Tinkerbell. Say it with me. <laughs> John going down 05 just to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> I Hurt believe. me more, Tilde. I believe. You have to, if you say it enough, he gets his wings in his fairy dust back. I, d That's I do believe in John numbers. I mean, I, would, I am not one to count John numbers out pretty much ever, especially in a, a game, a game five, or best of five scenario, second set. I don't count John numbers out, but Ritual, Tilde has got so much momentum going 5-0 so far in this set. Ah, uh, John numbers Ooh. though! That's the numbers That's effect. what happens when you believe. No yeah. way John is People chasing the of dragon the earth. this hard. If, if John People of the earth. Uh, did you uh, have to it again? He did. And, uh, again, this is what I was talking about. John just needs to get comfortable. We're back in Smash 4, for glory action here, giving you the best. The online classic. Yeah, and oh, Numbers oh, trying to line it up again, has the edge guard attempt. Not gonna find the, the pressure from ledge, though. And now Tilde with a huge opening. Not gonna take too much. Gonna line up the spike, though. Not gonna close out the stock. This is a full-on scramble here. Numbers, though, gonna maybe find his way back. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Numbers trying to find his way back into center, but Tilde catching every single approach with the headers. Yep, beautiful angle there on the header to find the mark oh. and the stop. 
Just like that, numbers one stock away from getting on the board. Force, we might have a set on our hands yet. John finally waking himself back up as he finds himself now a stock ahead of Tilde. We may in fact be seeing that game seven, but Tilde not going down without a fight, putting John off stage once again. He is not looking for more games against John. No, you, you lose one game here after running five straight, and you start to wonder against John numbers. Did I do anything? John's Does this man addict. care? Like, did, did the last five games even happen? I mean, Tilde trying to make them count here, forcing the last dock scenario. Oh, they however, have to happen for John's rush. <laughs> <laughs> As Devin provides us some wise feedback that only a man of his many years would know about Smash Bros. Oh, drag down a great uh, air dodge, I believe, from John to avoid the pickup. But Tilde's pressure continuing on. 77% right now. He is one stock away from taking Xenosaga 49. But will he be able to find it here? Because I feel like if he doesn't, we're gonna be seeing and we're gonna be seeing another uh, two games. And he's went for the forwarder and fell out of it. That was an opportunity that could have closed the game out. Not gonna do it just yet. The soccer ball delayed it stay late. Numbers gonna get out and dodge the back air, putting him in the corner. This could be it for his armor. He needs to keep him in the corner until they get his feet back down. And it's terrifying, and nothing's gonna back explode here. just like that till they end it. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see that one ending that way. No. I, th I thought we were gonna see a game seven. I thought we were gonna see that fabled game seven. Till they till they seen us. numbers get six would before? No. Like Not even the against slightest. like Zamba, Light when he used to come down way back in the Smash 4 Xeno Saga days. Like I don't think I've ever seen numbers get 6 0'd. Till Til they really heard us, like in the back in the production, he heard John say seven and that, games. That was it, by the way. That one interaction where you want if me you, to go back to it? Then? Yeah, if we can jump back to it. As silly as it sounds, ounce, ounce, this drift, watch this literally watch how slow this ends up being. In how close this ends up being. Numbers is literally, I just wanna, I just, thank you. Ew, a couple frames off. Look how, look how much space is just between him and that barely. Firebird. And if you keep going, he barely misses. Most other characters, that would've hit. Most other spacings, that would've hit. It was the slightest bit too far and that's just how it goes sometimes. He got the one before, he couldn't make it happen twice in a row. This was an absolutely just amazing true finals. It really we was. Tonight. I'm just sad because I really thought that even if we saw numbers lose, we were going to see him win that game and get seven games and he would either be right or he would win the tournament. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, till they had the cake and ate it too tonight. Congratulations to him, Xeno Saga 49, which means the next one is the big 50. It is the the Xeno Saga Extra Large arc is over. This was the it's final time episode. For the L. Yeah, it is, it is <laughs> now. It is now simply Xeno can, Saga can, Large. Wait, can we? Can I make? I'm gonna make this joke, and I'm sorry, Devin. As the Extra Large arc has has wound down, Xeno Sagas have become progressively smaller. <laughs> and true. now, And now at the end, we have a very small Xeno Saga, which now has to make you hold the L. <laughs> and that's a really depressing <laughs> thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But somebody had to say it. Well, actually, nobody did. But well, I, I took the opposite. I, I seized the day. I, I appreciate your sacrifice. Yeah, from ever but. casting here again. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it has been a fantastic time casting for you all tonight. Just as a reminder, guys, you are watching House of 3000 on Twitter or perhaps on YouTube, where both of which you can subscribe. So make sure you are doing that. If you have Prime, it's free to subscribe on Twitch. Follow us also on uh, Facebook and Blue Sky. Also, hashtag FreeHO3K on Twitter. And if you're looking for more House of 3000 content, perhaps throughout the week, maybe on Monday if you're feeling it, you can come out to Bombs, our grind-focused weekly uh, with a 64-player cap. And ev basically every single match will be both 
streamed on the quad stream and recorded locally and indiv individually yeah. uploaded to the YouTube. Because you thought four, four recording setups was a lot? No, how about five? Yeah, we've got five now, and I don't know that that's going to be the end of it, because there's some mischief in the works at Xeno when it comes to recording Smash Bros. sets and getting VODs for players. There's speaking of VODs for players, Bombs on Monday, not the only local run here. This is the grind focus bracket, but you want the main thing, the big cojones. You gotta pull up on Wednesday nights for an $8 venue, $7 entry bracket here at 21 Ludlow Street for Xeno every single week. It's the weekly edition of this here monthly tournament. And again, you can find folks on every possible platform. Do we have anything else for them tonight? Or is it just- No, I think that is it. Well, that's going to be it for us. I've been Ritual. You can find me below at RitualCasts on Twitter, at Ritual on Blue Sky, or you can just go to start.gg slash fullbloom and sign up because it's going to be an amazing tournament. Ooh, let's go. All right, and also I've been Force Armor. You can catch me at Force Armor on Twitter. Blue Sky eventually when I make it. I have an invite code. I, just, I haven't used it for some reason. I was going to say, yeah, you no, Get on that. I, I haven't. I just haven't used it. But I've had a fantastic time here at Xeno Saga. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, John. Thank you, everyone here at production. And we hope to see you soon.